Today I'm going to be paddling the middle branch of the Thames River, starting at Thamesford. And I'm going to be going uh, all the way into London. And I'm going to get down at uh, Wonderland and Riverside Road at Guy Lombardo Bridge. Here's my kayak. Here's the river. And I'm ready to go. Alright, here we go. Launching off. <laughs> Just a bit downstream from the launch there. The river is actually not even that deep. I was kind of worried about uh, the water height because suggested to do it at three to eight cubic meters per second and we're at like 11 and a half right now and i've never been here i have no idea what the river's like and then the main branch it says suggested is 30 to 65 cubic centimeters and it's at about 95 so yeah that'll also be interesting is actually moving pretty calmly. I thought it would have been uh, a lot faster. Hopefully I'm not gonna end up in the dark again like my last trip. Uh, we will see. It's quite possible. I got my headlamp on me just in case. I got 45 kilometers to do and I got like six or seven hours to do it. All right, we're still moving at a good pace so I'm not worried. actually just noticed an electric fence beside me and I know that apparently coming up is a barbed wire fence that goes right across the river so you got to get out and kind of portage around it I guess it's for livestock so nothing you can really do it seems like a weird thing to put right across a river and to make it barbed coming up like a kilometer from this bridge here so I to keep my eyes out for it definitely don't want to notice it at the last minute <laughs> yeah that was a good little rapid right back there biggest one of the day got my pants a little wet Yet. I smell cows though. <laughs> Got some pretty big looking waves here. Headed right for a rock. Oh, 
man, does it ever smell like cow manure? <laughs> I feel like I'm on my grandparents' farm. Just looking at my map on my phone here. And unless I mapped it wrong, it looks like I'm past where that barbed wire fence should have been. Yeah, I couldn't really find any recent info on it, but last I heard in 2016, it was still there, so I didn't really know what to think of it. We'll see though. Once I hit the next bridge, I'm almost positive I passed the right areas. Well, just passed the next bridge, so I guess there's no more barbed wire. I've done about uh, nine kilometers right now, and I got uh, only three more actually till I hit the south branch. I don't know what the confluence is going to be like, but that's where two rivers meet. But it looked pretty messy on uh, Google Earth when I was scouting it out, so hopefully that goes okay. All right, so the next obstacle coming up is this apparent rock garden. And I don't know, I can hear some pretty loud water up ahead, so we'll see. But yeah, I'm getting all this info, info from uh, Thames, Thames River Paddling Routes, I think. I'll link them in the description so you guys can check it out. All right, here we go. Looks pretty gnarly. Took a wave right up my sleeve. Oh, I'm soaked. <laughs> Whoa. I'm pretty sure that, that was the rock garden right there. Well, there we go. That was where I was watching uh, the Thames River paddle routes, guys. And they bailed right there on those rapids actually, or one of them did. I think they kept the canoe mostly dry though. Yeah, I got pretty wet, but no real issue. There's a lot of people riding ATVs around here, which kind of surprised me. And then I realized, when I was mapping this on Google Earth throughout the whole river, all you could see is ATV tracks because it gets pretty low. That's why I've actually, I've been trying to kayak this part for like three years now and I just, I always miss the, the high water opportunity. Yeah, or, or I'll do a different part like I've been doing Medway Creek, which flows into the North Branch and then down to Delaware. Yeah. Warming up now, had to change, get a few more layers on. Yeah, the river's speeding up too and it's getting a little more windy. Uh, I'm just taking a little break here. I'm right here at the confluence with the south branch of the Thames. And yeah. That means I got uh, 35 more kilometers to go and it's two o'clock right now. So I'll probably be getting in just that dark again. It seems to be the way I like to do things. <laughs> On the middle Thames right now. And now I'm on the south branch. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but the south branch is a lot dirtier. Look at the water. That's kind of what the main branch is like too. The, the middle branch there is surprisingly clear. You can see pretty far down. This branch also, it's got a lot more water. It gets a lot deeper. It's moving a lot faster, so it should make up the ground pretty fast. Finally dying down. Where am I? 
hat. Mm. So I'm just outside of Putnam now on the South Branch. That's where the Middle Thames meets the South Branch. Then I'm going to hit uh, Dorchester and then a bit after that I'm going to hit London. Should be smooth sailing until then. Uh, the only real obstacle I have is, uh, I guess it's called Hunt's Dam. I, I always called it uh, Labatt Falls, but there's a there's a dam. I guess it's called a weir. It's an overflow dam that uh, is near the Labatt Brewery in downtown London. So I'm just gonna have to do a quick portage around that. You can see the south branch is a lot bigger than the, than the middle branch. Although the middle branch was actually a lot wider than I was expecting. It's definitely wider than, uh, than Medway Creek, which I thought it was going to be really similar to. I just got into uh, London. I just saw the road sign with the population on it. I think I just went under uh, Veterans Memorial. So I got 10 kilometers to get to uh, the portage, the dam, and then uh, five kilometers from there. Um, it's 4.45 right now, so yeah, I'll probably be getting in pretty late. Oh well. Man, the wind has been crazy ever since I've been on the south branch. The middle branch was all right. But I've been going a lot slower than I've been than I planned for. Uh, sounds all too familiar. Probably still gonna make it in daylight though, because uh, the time just changed last night here in Ontario. Daylight savings time. So I got an extra hour of sunlight to work with. It's all concrete and a sure sign of getting into London. My arms are getting pretty tired. Paddling since 12, so five and a half hours now. Kind of looking forward to the portage actually because my my feet are pretty cold. Pretty numb I would say. <laughs> oh. But along with my feet going numb. I'm starting to get a pretty bad case of yak back. Ugh. My lower back is pretty tight. Four more kilometers go to the portage, and then I can get up and stretch. Well, I'm just about at the dam here. I can see there's a bridge coming up going across, and I think it's like literally right after the bridge. It's just after six o'clock now, so got the got to the dam around the time I thought it would. Now I'll probably get to my car around seven, just as the sun is setting. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to go to the left for the portage here. I'm not exactly sure when. <laughs> oh, there's actually a portage sign. <laughs> well, there's the portage. You can see it's a little flooded, so I'm gonna have to kayak a bit of the portage. Here's the kayak. Look at how muddy it's getting. Pretty muddy. Got the kayak ready for the portage. There you go. Oof. That's pretty heavy. Well, that wasn't very long at all.
just getting to the forks here. So now I've only got 3k to go. That's uh, this is where the south branch and the north branch become one, and it's known as the main channel. So I just came from those bridges there. That's the main channel down there. And that's the north branch up there. And that's like downtown London. So I went from Thamesford to Putnam to Dorchester to London. <laughs> uh, the yak back's getting pretty bad now. I'm getting pretty tired of sitting down just in general. Still nice to be on the water. I shouldn't really complain. There it is, there's the launch at Wonderland and Riverside. Somebody was feeding the geese? What in the heck? Look at all this feed for geese. <laughs> You're not even supposed to be feeding them, but clearly somebody does. Thank you for not feeding the wild. Time to load up the boat. Go eat some dinner. Collected quite a bit of water during the day. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see my future uploads. That's it.